was kind of short. All right. So here we are at the last match of the day. I'm G G G G G G G G G versus D R G G G G G G G G G. Um, let me look at the commentary list. I don't think anyone would call this. If a backup wants to come back and uh, commentate this, feel free to bug me. If you're still around, otherwise I'll just do this alone. We'll have a comfy last match. Either or, I'm cool. Uh, your set pieces. Let's see, long free kick. It's Ilias, short as arrow. Uh, free kick is two. Uh, free kick two is Ilias. Left kick is the right CB. Left CB on your right kick. That's it. Players to join the attack is uh, Ilias. There you go. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. I'll get that guy. I figured he'd want in, but he didn't put it on the sheet or anything. Here you go. Kit 3 for MGGG. Hey, Dr. Detroit. Hey, I see nobody took it. Nope, nobody took it. What a shame. What a shame. You get it now. Are you yeah, that's even worse. <laughs> So Dio is in, and then Magic's coming on for Culprit Coon. There you go. Make sure the corner kickers are the left back for left. There you go. It should be the right still. Yep. There we go. MGGG, I think you're good. DRG, are you good? Yep. <laughs> DRG are going on their meme kits. And, Yay! Uh, that one was a good meme. Well, we're going for the loot kits again <laughs> for MGGG. <laughs> Trump with Junko hair. Is there some good meme? Did you make these, Detroit? Yes. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> you do good work. I was asked too, and it was just like, this, this seems to fit. <laughs> Alright, we got the touch fluffy ball for MGGG and their stadium. Let me get their music, and we'll be ready to start off this last match. This match, I believe, is just basically winning your in DRG if they lose by. Well, if they if they lose yeah. one nil, then it's a playoff apparently, and otherwise yep. DRG will LOLG will go over them. But well, yeah, if it's a one point loss, and it's one nil, it forces a playoff between DRG and LOLG. Yep. If it's anything more, then uh, DRG will go through on goals. DRG four. will go through on goals for him. Yeah. So both these teams will advance. Yep. So don't lose by one. If you must lose, lose 2-1 at least. So here we go, the final match of the day. Monster Girls General or Monster Girls Games General versus Dungan Rumpa General. I heard the flag! Dr. Boris G twenty sixteen. I'm really glad we added cowbells for our flag so that we can hear them from all the way across the field. <laughs> yeah, it was one of the better decisions made by Merritt. One of the only good decisions. <laughs> Let's have our final set of anthems for the day. Here we go. Right, here we go. Whoa, feedback. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is it still <laughs> there? Yeah, no, it's not there anymore. Okay. Uh, I, I like the uh, touch fluffy ball. Yeah, it's a pretty nice ball. I want to touch it. Yeah. Yo, same. <laughs> we 
There's hope though, coming over. These kits clash, I just realized. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> this was a mistake, like part three. <laughs> oh well, it's kinda. The sock colors are different, so. And the shorts are kinda yeah. different, so. All you have to do is realize which one Trump Trump uh, supports and which one Trump doesn't support. And... <laughs> Why did I vote for Trump if he doesn't support Monster Girls? Ugh. You know, I, I really, now I just kind of want to see a picture of Ron Paul. Uh, not Ron Paul. God damn it. Um, of Mike Pence electrocuting Monster Girl, but the Monster Girls liking it. It just seems so appropriate. It would be. <laughs> would Mike Pence be enjoying it, or would he be uncomfortable? Uh, he would probably be uncomfortable, I, I would think. Mm. Yeah, this isn't good Christian values. Or maybe it is. Because <laughs> it depends on the kind of monster girl. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, some of the monsters could be Christians, you never know. Yeah. You can't typecast monsters as anyone, you know, religion. Yeah. I mean, I've been raped by Buddhists. I've been raped by, um, <laughs> no, monks. I've been raped by every religion under the sun. Here's Hope giving it over to Future. Future loses the ball and it's cleared. Here's Elias didn't do nothing trying to get it over to Dried Fish, but it's cleared. Yeah, that, that, that attack was a little too dry to actually work. Hope getting over to Monokuma. Trying to get it up to Magic, but it's cleared for a throw in. So I, I have to ask while we have a stop in the action what would you rather have in your mouth? Dried fish or meat on the bone? Meat on the bone, I think. Same. Yeah. I've never been that big on fish, and I like both meat and bones, so. Yes. Agreed. I as well also enjoy meat and boning in that meat. <laughs> boning other meat? <laughs> yeah. Meat I, I like uh, make, rubbing against each other, you know. I, I like to make the sexual version of Turducken. Oof. That's that's like Voron, Voron, Vor, but uh, other end, right? Something like that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and uh, MGGG are able to get the possession of the ball. You know why? Oh, actually, yeah, because they're actually a good team. God damn it. <laughs> It is fucking me up, damn it! Yeah, at least nobody asked for a uh, mentality change, right? Right. God. Real back and forth game here, but I mean, both teams are not giving too much of a care about the midfield, but in their own boxes, they're doing uh, some pretty good, nice work on defense. It's, um, it's hard to say who's doing a little better at the moment. Uh, they're both kind of equally getting the good opportunities, at least towards the box. Yeah, I, I feel like Monster Girls are getting a little bit better steals, but yeah, it's not... Here we go, anything. Spats! Oh my god! Spats actually did something good! <laughs> Just needed that fluffy ball, and it's 1-0 for MGGG. Just under 30 minutes, and MGGG put themselves on the board, 1-0. Yeah, if we hold out here, we get a playoff. So, I mean, everybody, uh, raise your dongers. Raise your dongers for uh, semen slurping. Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe, maybe you are maybe you just want everyone through, and just, in that case, raise your uh, donger rompas. Hmm. There's despair. Loses the ball to pure dick-loving maiden. Yeah, again, like I said, uh, Monster Girls seem to be getting the better steals, and 
Yeah. It's not really doing it in the midfield, they're doing it in their own side of the field, but they're, they're still getting them. Here's Duncan Rumpa trying to build up here. Meat on the bone loses the ball to Ilias. Future. Has Hope over there trying to get over to Meat on the bone, trying to get it into the box, but it's cleared for a throw in. Not, not that um, DRG is going to get a set piece up close. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how it actually turns out. I think they should get a decent shot here. Hope is able to get the ball for just a moment before it's stolen away. Not quite. They, they might be feeding into their own despair a little too much. Yeah, they need uh, they need some despair going before they can uh, drive home the hope to win the game. Yeah, I or guess you really can't have hope without despair, right? Yeah. They're like Yin and Yang. Really all DRG needs to do is get one goal, and after that it doesn't really matter for them. Here's Hope. Well, can't keep, keep... No, can't keep the ball in. Ooh, I, I thought they kept it in too. Yeah. <laughs> is, is that the same kind of role, do you know, as the uh, goal where it has... No minutes of stoppage for the half, so this should be the last attack attempt. If they can get one going. Despair boots it over to Magic. D Ooh. <laughs> Trips over Mud Pussy. Good idea, bad execution. <laughs> Grigori. <laughs> Finger wagging this mage lowly. It's very appropriate. <laughs> On the back. <laughs> oh my god, her leg. <laughs> Damn. Holy that shit. That looks like some Sid Vicious knee. Oof. It's like her hip was 90 degrees in the wrong direction. Yeah. That's it for the first half. One all. Or one nil. Jesus. <laughs> I always get those two confused for some reason. I, I do that a lot too. It's like one all, but only one side has one. So yeah. it's all to one. <laughs> They're equalized. <laughs> two one for MGGGG and DRG only don't have any shots. Yeah, again, it's just, you know, MGGG getting them steals, them uh, interceptions. I mean, DRG have had five, but they haven't been very good ones. Here, I'll do your... Uh, DRG are going to go to preset two. There you go. And... Yeah, they, they need to change something. Yep. For right now... If, if you come into the half with not, not, no shots, you need to change something. I mean, we saw what happened to FGG earlier on. Yeah. <laughs> well, FGG also didn't get... A goal against them as well. So that's true. All right. Uh, if they go down again, if they're down by two, go to preset three and put them on plus one for Danganronpa. Yeah, that'll be the good stuff right there. Check for sub sixty for Monster Girls. Wow. Good one. Really. Way coming out way out. Uh, from the box. Yeah, again, it's just, that's just the funny, funny, funnest thing about offensive goalkeepers. It always makes your heart skip a beat because you know Pez can strike it. Oh! oh, damn! Holy shit, what a blooter on a Junko! That's despair! Give in, and it's one all. Hard to broke the camera. 
<laughs> Sorry, it was just Hope looking at the ball. <laughs> There's immediately a foul against Dried Fish. And a card. They're in a good position, so they got to be a little careful about those cards. Juzo Boy is getting a yellow card. I don't think it's a medal, so it shouldn't be too bad. No. That was yeah, that was Dung and Rumpa's first card of the group stage, too. Yeah, they've been, for, for being such a murder based team, they've been playing very clean. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's very true, yeah. I mean, there's only one murderer, right, in Danganronpa? Usually, uh, no spoilers, well, I guess, but... <laughs> well, I, I think the way it works is that there's, like, different cases, and there's one murderer per case, cause... Oh, okay, yeah, 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 I guess that would be true. Yeah, it, it's because like if you get away with murder... murder, yeah, there's a mastermind, but there's also multiple murderers. It's like, right. if you get away with the murder, then you go free, but if you don't, then, uh, and everybody else dies, but if you don't, then you die, and everyone else just live on. I see, okay. Interesting. Yeah. It's a fun little scenario, if nothing else. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I said this before, like, during a previous DRG game, but it's something I want to play, definitely. And have ready to go, I just need time. Like, with many things. Right, um... Yeah, I, I only watched the uh, anime version of the first, uh, first game. Both fullbacks are coming out for MGGG. So Voron, Voron, Vor out for bestiality. Bestiality. Mud Pussy coming out for the Black Alice. Bestiality's not looking too hot today. Hold it. Alright, I caught that DRG. I'll do that at uh, 65 for you. Um, what are we holding? And uh, Monster Girls. Okay, keep bestiality off. She is purple, that's fair. There you go. Anything else for you? Yeah, you might be able to sub them on later, but as of right now, it's a little too early to bring on purples. Check at 70. All right. And, and, and Dang and really seems to be out. Match. Yeah. <laughs> no more. That's good enough. Kind of, kind of like a cat. Offsides. Yeah, it seems like DOG's really outplaying uh, MGGG now after the half. Those changes really help him. Yeah, they are playing a little better. They've probably got a little bit of that momentum, plus the preset change is helping them a lot, like you said. Here's Hope. Trying to get it over to Despair. They're keeping it in. Counters blocks it out, and it'll be cleared by Black Alice unless they blunder a bit. Monokuma picks it up. He has it into a defender, and it's cleared. Uh, the, the, the video cam froze just right. It made me think that uh, Monokuma got tripped up, and the ref was going to call a foul. And oh, if that was going to be a penalty, that would have been a hell of a hell of a time to have it. Yeah. All right, DRG. Uh, you want to sub the AMF and the DMF. So meat on the bone coming out. Uh, gravel swimsuit. And the DMS of Juzo Boy is coming out for airheaded brown girl. Yeah. And uh they want to save the last sub for when MGGG does theirs. Alright. Timeout at seven oh five for MGGG. I was gonna make fun of DOG for not having the best girl uh on, on the team, but they do have the second best, so that's good enough for me. Yeah, sometimes you got a subtle arrow one trying a shot and it's blocked ah. out by Uso Daya. Uso Dayo, I think it is. Here they come again, trying to get over to Spats, but you know why it gets in the way. Yeah, I know why, because Spats is uh, bad luck. Alright, we'll do... We'll check conditions for MGGG at this uh, corner, or this throw-in, excuse me. Good, good job by Arrow 1, uh, keeping it to a throw-in instead of a corner. Alright, there you go. Here's your conditions. I 
Anything for you, MGGG manager. At 70 here, because we got to go otherwise. Well, you said you checked your conditions. Yeah, subs, my dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Cheeky smiley, let's go. <laughs> Alright, they're good. Um, oh. Do you want to do your sub now, DRG, even though they're not doing it? Or you just want to, are you just leaving that for when it happens? Kind of expected a, a, at least a preset change or something, because it... Okay, MGG I Jesus. literally... F quit freaking out, DRG manager. I literally just asked you, do you want to do that sub now? Like, I or are you leaving it there as an instruction? Calm down, I see you. I'm looking directly at you. <laughs> Alright, you know why I'm coming out for Goes to Kiss Her. There you go. I mean, he could be freaking out for other reasons. He could have a poofy-headed blonde behind him. Oh, God. Alright, here's Babby Gangster. Over there, headed brown girl. Ooh, that sounds like a good idea. A, a brown headed, a air headed brown girl in spats. Mm. Oh, yeah, actually. That could be good. Mm -hmm. Crossing it in over. Hope takes a header. Not too shabby. It had power behind it, but it wasn't very well aimed or directed. Yeah, and the aim was all right. Just had to keep her head a good angle on it in the first place and was really paying attention. All right, lads. Uh, Monster Girls want to take a timeout now. At 75, what do you got? Uh, Alright, they're going to put in the purple. So, Vor is coming out for bestiality. And go preset yep. 2. There you go. Good, good idea. I mean, I, I think this will do relatively well against what the edgy has, but I think it also might be a little too late, just only giving yourself 15 minutes to break them. So they have a they have a push of what their formation is supposed to look like, so just some players moving around. Um, arrow 1 is supposed to be up front. There you go. And there's Spats, Ilias, the... Alright, let me check the other positions. DMF looks correct. That's The CMFs are uh, incorrect. Pure Dick Love and Main is supposed to be right there. And then... Uh, black... ...position? Uh, uh, dried fish is still out. Yeah, we got a sub off, uh, dried off for a CMF. So let's do cheap papa. Crazy cheap papas. Yeah. There you go. Everybody looks in position. Well, technically in this basement or in this uh, push, these two players are supposed to be like that. <laughs> but whatever. Yeah, well, I mean, you're te you were technically right, which is the best kind of right. Yes. <laughs> And they want to go to plus one. All right. Is that it for your timeout? Yeah, roll it. All right. Plus one. Oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> Preset two, plus one. And we'll see if they've give, given themselves enough time to uh, pull this one back from the brink, even though they only need one gold. It's still the difference between you know life and death here. I don't think, uh, I think DRG are safe, so they're pretty, they can walk away with this with a one-all if they want, but I think obviously they want to win. You always want to win. Right. Yeah, you always want to win, but you still have a one goal cushion to lose by and still make it through. Yeah. So you, you can't be too noited. Okay, here come those I mean, subs. unless you're about to be murdered. Yeah. Future over to Hope. Gravel swimsuit, put it over to Monokuma. Intercepted. Ilias will clear it. 
Ooh, nice ball. Let's see if they can do anything with it. Arrow one loses it to the airheaded brown girl. Yeah, see, that was a really bad place for the kids because, man, I, th I thought he had a hit pass with the spats. <laughs> Double acrobatic clearance. It's the evolution of the Serbian slide. Mm. Oh, I missed the Serbian slide. Yeah, that was some fun times. Coming near the end of the game here. Um, if if M <laughs> MGG G want to get through, they're going to have to build up something right quick. Yeah, I'm, on the other hand, they do have the entirety of extra time. They, they all do only need one goal, so it's not Four minutes. for them. This is a good opportunity if they can make something happen. Ilias putting it over to Arrow 1. Arrow 1 trying to slip it past. That'll be a corner. Arrow 1's been silent all game. Uh, all all uh, VGL, really. Let's see if they can do anything here. This is going to be their one opportunity, I think. The last shot. If they can get a goal in, they're through. Along with Danganronpa. And they might have time for one more if it doesn't go in. Maybe. Depends on how they go. Bestiality trying to get over to Arrow 1. It's headed away. Nerd. Nero. I said nerd. Nero <laughs> picks it up. Hope gets it. And it looks like the final attack is going to be for DRG. Yeah, they need to steal back in like 10 seconds. I think that's already passed. DRG. Hope gets it over to Magic. Magic to Monokuma. Has the ball still. Takes the shot and is wide. Eh, well, you, I don't think I think this is like the best finished Monster Girls I've ever had. So, you know, it's all, it's all upward trajectory. Yeah, I think um, no, uh, Monster Girls as Monster Girl Quest General got to the knockouts once. Oh, did they? Yeah, um, on me. All right, and uh, eh, stats aren't that uh, unusual. 5-4 to 4-3. Yep. DRG putting in a little more bit of an effort in the second half. Can't really play. say that football didn't deserve this one. Yeah. Man of the match is going to be, dis or, excuse me, girl of the match, is Despair with a 7. Well, I mean, League of Legends general is going through, so it makes sense that Despair is the man of the match. <laughs> Yes, the cancer. The most the most ancient of cancer generals is going through. <laughs> uh six five for Spats for her goal. Good job. Yeah, good showing by both teams though. Uh I, I know we talked a lot more about Monster Girls, but that's not to be a little ding around, but they did very well in this game, uh especially on defense. They they might have only got that one blooter goal, but they they uh, they deserve to at least have this draw. Yeah, and with this, um, Danganronpa join Idolmaster in their elite status, maintaining their elite status five feet jails in a row. Mm -hmm. uh, here are your match details: thirty minutes spats from arrow one dot ogg, at fifty two minutes despair unassisted, also at fifty two minutes Juzo boy has got a yellow. Uh, if your first sub came out at 61, then three more subs at 72 for Danganronpa, two more subs for MGGG at 80, and that's it. There's your attacking areas, your ball winning areas, and that's it. And that's going to do it for these groups in this day. That was actually a really fun match day besides, you know, the entirety of Group A. Yeah, Group A kind of was like, <laughs> like, wake me up inside, which, speaking of which, um, <laughs> I think Evanescence won the day, so I'm going to play that instead. <laughs> 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 By request of earlier. But if a draw happened again, they wanted to uh, wake me up inside. But, yeah, that's going to do it for the day, and, um, I don't know, are you going to do your sniff, burp bait, whatever? Uh, I was trying to find the uh, co-manager. It doesn't seem like he's around, but we'll probably, right. I'll probably try to do another solo show and see if maybe someone shows up. All right. Sure. Okay. Well, uh, till then, thank you very much for commentating. Thanks for having me. See you later. See you in a bit. Later.
All right. Well, let's uh let's run through this last day. See who advanced and who didn't. And we'll uh I'll finish it off with um finish it off by going over tomorrow's matches, the final day of group stages. So on and so forth. All right. So Someone added a VGL record for consecutive minutes without goals. <laughs> Good job. It's apparently 205. But it's a VGL record because apparently the overall record for consecutive minutes without a goal is 249 minutes in 2014 autumn. Outstanding. <laughs> uh, Alright. Well, let's start off at the top top of the day. Group A. Um, Love Live and Hearthstone are your two Our bottom of the group um, they, they're in a good position to avoid qualifiers still even though they didn't get their uh, usual one win. They are two points, so they're pre sitting pretty high. We'll see. Come next time. Congratulations to Love, Love Live, Love Live. I'll try and reteach myself again. I don't know who the fuck told me it was Love Live, but <laughs> apparently they fucked me over for a year or two. <sighs> then Group B, we have Mass Effect and RuneScape on top with seven and six. With Hanny sitting at third, and Final Fantasy going back down, possibly to the qualifiers at one point. Congratulations to Mass Effect. I'm, I'm happy because I'm into Mass Effect. Even though people call you a boring team, I root for you, boys. I don't think you're boring. What do I know? Congratulations also to RuneScape for making the fucking knockout again with your memes. You are very much appreciated in this league. In this league. We move on to Group C, where Grand Strategy tops the group with seven, and Idol Master making their fifth consecutive run into uh, the knockouts, or fourth, fifth for fourth, um, maintaining their elite status with six points. Grand Blue Fantasy is a very. Di and it's, I'm going to be honest; it's pretty disappointing they didn't get through, just because they're such a fun team. Their general, we're always into. The, the matches, every every time the general would talk about it and get excited and all that stuff. That's always what you want to look for with a team. But they did well. Everybody had fun with them. Everybody likes them now. They're more than welcome to come back. And TFG, unfortunately, bottomed their group and go back down to qualifiers, most likely. Yeah, it's, it's elites in the sense that, you know, they get to the knockouts over and over again. That kind of elite. The elite we used to have, like, before, you know. Finally, we have Group D. Danganronpa and Lolji, League of Legends, able to get through 5-4. Monster Girls, unfortunately, un I'm sitting even better than FEG. They're at three points. And that's it for the day. And tomorrow, our final day of the group stages, we'll start off with Group E, Lab Zero versus Ace uh, Attorney al Online. Uh, Lab Zero's already through. Ace Attorney already out. So this is basically either Lab Zero nine points, or this is the redemption story of Ace Attorney. Can they pull a Hanny and uh, pull a win out of their ass? And then we'll move on to Civ 4 XG versus XCG. This is the more important match for this uh, this group because this determines who goes through, when you're in. Um, the draw favors Civ on goals four. Group F, we move on to Sog and Ekig, Ekig. Steel Ocean versus Ace Combat. Uh, boats, boats versus Planes. 
Uh, HG already out on zero points. Again, another redemption story if they can get a win. That would be very, that would uh, save them some face, but so SOG are sitting at two, so they definitely want to win as well to have a chance to go through. A uh, draw or a loss puts them out. And then the last match of that group will be Nepgen versus UTG. Both of these teams sitting at four. Um, if SOG lose or draw, then they're both through. It's no problem. But obviously, you, you might want to fight for seeding if you care about that. And also for honor. Uh, and if, uh, if SOG does get through on like five points, then... KSG on three, win on your in, basically. Draw obviously favors FGOG. Uh, and then after that will be SKG versus Total War. Senra and Kagura. Or, no, actually, they'd go through over uh, SKG. Excuse me. They don't care about FGOG. Uh, and then. Group H, final group, will have Vitagen versus RuneScape 07. And uh, Vitagen are at 3, RuneScape are on 2, win and you're in. Draw obviously favors Vitagen for 4 points. And uh, they wouldn't be guaranteed in just yet because we'd have the final match with Vitagen. Uh, Five Nights basically needs to pull out a two-goal win, I think, to get through. I think, depending. Yeah, I think they need a, at least two goals. So, it's looking pretty good for Persona, actually. And that's going to be it, so let me load this up real quick. In honor of our third draw. At least it wasn't another nil-nil. But still. Here we go. Um, I'll see you tomorrow, lads, for the final group stage day. Hope you had fun.